We do have a few announcements this evening. First of all, Operation Clean Sweep will be held Saturday, May 2nd, 8 to 1 p.m. at San Bruno City Park, and you can register at www.sanbruno.ca.gov. Irene, would you like to say anything? Yes, thank you very much. We're very excited this year. We have a lot of activities planned. We're going to start a pilot program this year as well with a closing off part of San Mateo Avenue and having the Rotary group is going to be planting and cleaning and scrubbing and the street sweeper is going to be there and the sidewalk steam cleaner is going to be there and that piece of San Mateo Avenue is going to shine. So. That's one of the activities we're doing. We're also doing some planting at the San Bruno City Pool and painting things and, as always, cleaning things. So we invite you to come. Uh, our registration is at 9 o'clock at the San Bruno Rec Center, the gazebo. Uh, we'll have donuts and coffee. We'll have gifts afterwards. And also at 12.30, I'm sorry, at 11.30 that, that time, at that time, just before we ha serve our lunch, there'll be an unveiling of the centennial tiles. I believe some of you participated. If not you, your children did. And um, they'll be mounted on a part of the pool area. So that should be pretty exciting. So we hope to see you there. Thank you. Item B, the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life will be held on Saturday, April 25th, 2015 at Cappuccino High School in San Bruno beginning at 9.30 a.m. And I, I have a proclamation to present. I believe uh, Katie Wilcox is going to receive this. Uh, go to the podium, Katie, and I'll bring it over. I'll read a portion of this. Whereas the American Cancer Society is the nation's largest and most respected voluntary health organization since 1913 and has funded research which has contributed to every known method for detecting cancer and techniques for treating cancer, thereby increasing the cancer survival rates from 10% to over 68%. And whereas Relay for Life San Bruno financially benefits the American Cancer Society's research and patient support programs, and whereas the San Bruno Relay for Life Committee is holding their event Saturday, April 25th, starting at 9.30 a.m. on the track at Cappuccino High School, now, therefore, I, Jim Ruane, the mayor of the city of San Bruno, do hereby proclaim Saturday, April 25th, 2015, as Relay for Life Day in San Bruno. And I further urge all San Bruno residents to recognize and participate in this anti-cancer campaign event and finish the fight. Uh, Ken, before I say anything, would uh, present this, would you like to say anything? Well, I don't want to take away from uh, the ladies that are standing at the podium. Uh, they, they make up a small portion of this great committee that we have. Uh, and volunteering for, geez, seems forever, uh, but involved for the last uh, six months at least. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to, to 11 days from now, uh, April 25th. Uh, everyone has their story about why they're involved and how they've been touched by cancer. Uh, and they all have their story. And I know many of you around here have, you know, have your story. So this is something that goes deeper than just San Bruno residents. This is a community that will honor those, uh, those loved ones that have passed on, but then also to celebrate those that are, that are surviving and, uh, and wearing the purple shirts and uh, walking around the track. So it's, it's a great event, and I'm so, so proud of the volunteers and so proud to be a part of it. Would you present this, please? I'd love to. All right, so my name's Katie Wilcox and I work for the American Cancer Society. Um, I wanted to say thank you to the council, to the community um, for supporting this event in this way. I actually was a volunteer for the event um, years ago and it's just wonderful to see a community come together um, and acknowledge the event in this way. So thank you very much. Um, it is also the 30th year anniversary of the event. So if you look at the history of the event, it's actually started by one man. He was a doctor. He was an oncologist, and he actually decided to walk around the track for 24 hours with his family and friends donating to the, to the cause. Um, and it started with one person, and now the Relay for Life event is in almost every single community. So it's pretty amazing in 30 years how it's ev evolved into what it is today. So I, I highly encourage you to come out to the event, um, get a taste of what the mission is all about, 
like Ken said, celebrate, um, remember, and fight back against those who might not be able to be here today. And uh, again, thank you so much for just making this possible. Um, and we actually have a survivor here standing next to us from the community who's a, who's a volunteer on the, on the committee. So thank you to everybody that's involved. Thank you. We look, thank you. look forward to the 25th. <laughs>